get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again.
this place still has power, it must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after we went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lock if we ever want to get inside that bunker. touch anything. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped! Cannot be stopped! I wish I had more time to study all of this.
have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. We must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just have yet to... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are dead as well as anyone inside. All of them? There must be hundreds of those pods. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? I'm not putting faith in anybody being on our side. Not anymore. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan. Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Oh 
come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. 
but the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll stop Saren. Just tell me how. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network 
to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations, perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. We can get there in time. Their plan only fails if we do, and I've come too far to watch Saren win.
There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failure was detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. Critical failure was detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency
ships inside the arms.
time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fancy hardware is not going to save you. You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped, not by the Protheans, not by you. The cycle always continues. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants, don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic, organic and machine intertwined, a union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. I'm done arguing with you. Let's end this.
waiting for payback. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms! Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station! See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension! Main drive's offline! Kinetic barrier's down 40%! The Council is on board! I repeat, the Council is on board! Normandy to the Citadel! Normandy to the Citadel! Please tell me that's you, Commander! I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You can't sacrifice human lives to save the Council. What have they ever done for us? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Exactly. We can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. We have to hold them back until Sovereign's exposed. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. A sacrifice for the greater good. I only pray it is not made in vain. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline! Commander, they closed the channel. Make sure he's dead. He's dead.
is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. safe now. Where's the commander? We got your message, Ambassador. 
What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy were still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council, one with a human chairman at its head. I can see the other races inviting us to join the council, but lead it? That's a whole different story. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity, our courage, our strength. The Ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Council Chairman should be. We're about to go to war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this, but I'll do what I can. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming, and I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reapers' return and drive them back into dark space.